Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Drone, we're going to build, price, and option a 2019 Mercedes E450 4Matic sedan. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The E450 trim replaces the E400 and adds more power. We can see that it starts off with an MSRP of $59,950. So it's $60,000 for your base model E450 4Matic sedan. Acceleration in 5 seconds flat. So your 0 to 60 time is 5 seconds flat. It's got 362 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. Let's take a look at some of the exterior colors. They're going to show us the whole palette here. Our first color is just a flat black. We've got a polar white. We have an obsidian black metallic, so now we've got a, a, a flake in it. Iridium silver metallic. We've got a lunar blue metallic. A selenite gray metallic. Then we have a designo cardinal red metallic. And if you're not familiar with Mercedes and designo or designo or however you pronounce it, that's usually upscale exterior colors, leather colors, wood selections, things like that. And so, yeah, it's always costs you more money to go upscale. It's kind of the same way that BMW does their individual. It's the same kind of deal as that. I'll actually put a link up to uh, a video I did on BMW in, or individual, so you kind of get an understanding of, of that upscale stuff. Uh, now they have a uh, – there's also this diamond white metallic. I actually like this diamond white metallic a lot. Um, and there's this selenite gray mango. And so that looks like it's similar to, to this, right? This gray metallic, but they call it mango now, and it's a it's a matte color. And I'm not really a big fan of the matte matte colors where they where there's no sheen or shine. I don't really like that. So we're gonna check out some key features and stuff. We're gonna start with some specifications, all right, for this new car, uh, this E450. The wheelbase is 115 inches long. It's got a curb weight of 4,100 pounds. It's got an overall height of 57.8 inches. And it's got an overall width with the mirrors of 81.3 inches. Some interior dimensions. Headroom in the front, 41.1 inches. Shoulder room in the front, 57.8 inches. That's pretty good. Headroom in the back, 38.2. Shoulder room in the back seat, 57.1. Cargo capacity, 13.1 cubic feet. Leg room in the rear, 36.2 inches. Seats five people. And the leg room up front is 41.1 inches. We can see a little more specs on this engine. We can see that the engine makes 362 horsepower at 5,500 RPM. And it makes 369 pound-feet of torque at a low and very nice 1800 rpms and it make and it holds that peak torque all the way to 4500 rpms well at the end of the day that's where your engine exists next time you're sitting in your car if you have a tachometer and you're sitting at the light look at your tachometer your car is idling just below a thousand rpm and when you just step on the gas it goes from that to about 1500 rpm just like that in a blink of an eye so when you are at six, sitting at 1,800 RPM for your max torque, I mean, basically, it's just off idle. You've got max torque available all the way up to 4,500 RPM, and you usually don't get up into the 5,000 RPMs driving around. You normally don't wind the engine up that high. So that means that you're sweet, that this engine's making that all that torque in the sweet spot all day long, all right? Took me a long time to explain that, but it's worth knowing. It's worth you knowing why those numbers matter, okay? Fuel capacity, 21.1 gallons. And then the engine, it's a 3-liter V6, and this thing likes premium unleaded fuel only, please. Fuel economy in the city is 20 miles to the gallon. Fuel economy on the highway is a little bit better at 28 miles to the gallon. We've got a 9-speed automatic transmission made it to this car, and it's a 4-matic. Four 4-matic four for Mercedes-Benz, if you don't know, means all-wheel drive. We skipped over the little performance tab because all they want to tell us is that it does 0 to 60 in 5 seconds again, and we know that. It tells us a little bit about the suspension. It's got a four-wheel independent four-link front and five-arm multi-link rear suspension with rack and, peering, rack and pinion steering. That's electric, electric rack and pinion steering. We've got 18-by-8-inch uh, twin five-spoke wheels all the way around, so you can rotate these tires. They're 245, 45, 18 and they're all season tires. 
All right, let's talk about key features. All right, with industry advancing innovations in safety, connectivity, and driving ease, the Mercedes E450 raises the bar for advancement. In luxury and craftsmanship, it sets class standards, and its new 362 horsepower bi turbo V6 steps ahead in performance. So, under this key features tab, they've got lots of different modules. Let me They've got performance, body, body design, safety, luxury, and multimedia. What we're going to do is we're going to what? We're going to look at the standard and optional features for each of those tabs, starting with performance. So we can see that the standard features for the uh, Mercedes E450 formatic is that 3 liter V6 by turbo, the Eco Stop Start system. And if we don't know what that is, we can click on this and it'll give us a little bit of information. So let's do that. So this Eco Stop Start system automatically shuts off the engine at stoplights and other idle situations to save fuel and reduce emissions. As soon as you lift your foot off brake, and it's really fast because I've done this, as soon as you get to transfer your foot from the time it takes you to move your foot from the brake to the gas, the car is already started and it's ready to go. I usually turn that feature off and that's what this button's about because I don't really like the engine doing that. So it looks like you could turn the feature off if you don't like it to. Four-wheel drive, right? That's a standard feature, four-wheel drive system. The nine-speed automatic transmission, standard equipment. AMG Dynamic Select. Now, what is this? A multi-mode drive program selector on the console lets you transform the, car, transform the car's character with the flip of a switch. Four modes, Eco, Comfort, Sport, and Sport Plus alter the throttle response, shift points, and steering effort, and Eco Start Stop. A fifth individual mode custom right i would call it allows you to create a mode of your own even letting you set the transmission for purely manual shifting standard performance equipment is the four link multi uh, or four wheel multi link suspension and this esp dynamic cornering assist now what this does is what an advanced torque vectoring system adds control and precision in turns via targeted rear wheel braking if the vehicle's electronic stability program detects understeer while cornering, uh, then this thing applies the brakes to the inside rear wheel, tempering, temporarily shifting torque distribution in favor of the outside wheel. So this thing's going to help you from, like, losing it, basically. This thing's going to help you from losing it. Can it pre completely prevent it? Probably not, but it can help you from losing it in certain situations, I'm sure. Here they're saying they've got uh, as standard equipment, the electrical mechanical power steering with direct steer. This feature automatically varies the stereo steering ratio based on how far you turn the steering wheel. It provides quicker steering and lighter effort while parking, while maintaining excellent directional stability and crisp feedback at higher speeds. Standard equipment is the sport brake system. All right, and that's pretty cool. Upgraded brake hardware includes perforated front brake discs. That's for dissipating heat. Uh, and then you get painted calipers that say Mercedes-Benz on them, right? You can see the brake caliper right here says Mercedes-Benz. You have the cross-drilled rotor. And then last for your standard equipment is a lowered suspension with selective uh, dampening. Optional performance equipment is this comfort suspension with selective dampening system. Now, what does this do? It says valve inside each shock absorber is designed to firm up or firm up during stronger body motions. So this thing is really like it's 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 an upgraded, more active system. Do we really need this system? I don't know. How far are they going to nickel and dime us? We'll see how many other packages there are, whether we would option in something like this. Now, there is one other uh, optional package, and that's called the air body control. You can see this big air suspension here. All right. So what does this thing do? An advanced adaptive air suspension Teams precise sensors and pressurized air spring struts that respond in real time to road surface and driving conditions. So I did another Mercedes. It was called the Mercedes S560, I think. I'm going to put a link up. And that car also had, I think, what it was called magic body control. Sort of something similar, but a little bit different. Okay, we went through the performance standard features and optional features. Let's check out body design. And see what the standard features are and the optional features. Let's start with the standard features real first, real quick, and we'll pull up the pictures because it's nice. Sensual purity of design. Okay, so this is now the tenth generation of the E-Class sedan. It's 2.6 inches more wheelbase than the previous model and has classic proportions. The E-Class delivers sculpted elegance with sporty stance. 
You have your choice of grill designs flanked by expressive LED headlamps that flow seamlessly into the side profile. It all culminates with muscular rear shoulders and glistening LED tail lamps. They made that sound pretty good, didn't they? Interior's a nice place to be. Standard is this sensual sculpted cabin design. All right, so the three-dimensional flow of the E-Class cockpit is more than a visual achievement, right? Every aspect of the cabin experience is easily equally fluid. I think it looks pretty good. It's a little too flowy for me. It's a little too flowy. It's a little too soft. It's a little too elegant. I want a little more of an edge, but it's not bad looking. I'm sure the color, your color selections are going to help change that. This light tan or whatever color they call it doesn't do anything to help it look a little more sporty as the outside would suggest. Standard equipment is the all LED exterior lighting front and back. So you got LED headlights, LED tail lights. Also standard is a power tilt sliding tilted tinted, sorry, glass sunroof. Optional features, I'm going to kind of run through these. You know, sometimes I'll stop maybe to read ones that I think are a little more interesting, but most of them are pretty self-explanatory. So optional feature, this AMG body styling kit, optional feature, panorama roof, uh, the gloss black exterior accents, the front air dam trim, grill crossbars, the side mirror housings, and side window surrounds, and the rear valance trims are all finished in deep gloss black. So the side mirrors all around the window trim, all down here, it's all in gloss black is what they're basically telling you. It's, that's called the AMG line exterior with night package. So you can see the name down here, right, where it's available. These 18-inch wheels, that's a wheel option. These are a wheel option. So we're just going to go look through these wheels real fast. Now, I don't like any of those. I like the 19-inch wheels, not the ones with the black accents. We already saw another set that was the same thing without the black accents. Those will probably be the wheels that I like. And then we have some optional selections in your veneers, your woods, right? Natural grain brown ash wood, uh, burl walnut. I love the burl. Actually, is my favorite. The natural grain black ash wood. Then you have the brown ash wood. Then you have a designio. Remember, I was telling you, it's upscale leathers, paints, woods. And so here's one of their upscale veneers. I don't really care for it honestly. And then there's an optional wood leather steering wheel as well. What else is there? There's an optional top stitch dash. This elegantly sculpted dash is richly tailored in Mercedes-Benz Tex, which means not real, not leather, and impeccably top stitch. So it makes it look like it's finished in leather. And so that's kind of nice. And then the optional luxury body styling. So with these E-Class Mercedes, you can either get it as a luxury body style or the Sport. And the Sport has a little more of an AMG look, and BMW does kind of the same thing too. All right, so th that's all the optional equipment for, um, for design. Okay, moving on to safety, we can take a look at all the standard safety features, and there's quite a bit. There's a lot of safety features, standard safety features, uh, in this 2019 E450 Matic. Let's run through them real fast. All right, first up is car-to-X communication. Now, this is really interesting. It says, in the future, cars will be able to communicate with each other over the airwaves. In the E-Class, that starts today. All right, with its industry-leading car-to-X communication, I think Cadillac does this too, every new E-Class can automatically alert a central notification system of certain dangers, from detected wheel spin to use of hazard flashers or even windshield wipers. The system can then alert other drivers with car-to-X. So... That's really cool. That's pretty cool. And then also creepy at the same time, right? Cool and creepy at the same time. You have Mercedes-Benz emergency call service as a standard feature. These are all standard safety features, mind you. Uh, active brake assist, standard feature. Now, remember, if you want to read it something and I'm not reading it, just simply pause the video really quick. You can catch that in super fast, all right? Sometimes I want to keep the video moving, so I might not read everything. Uh, attention assist. Now, this is interesting. I want to stop and read this because what I'm noticing is that other manufacturers are starting to do this, and Mercedes has been doing this in particular for a very long time. Attention assist. Now, I'm going to read this. The first system of its kind, and it's true. Attention assist continuously monitors up to 70 parameters of driving behavior. Now, the other manufacturers don't tell you how many parameters they monitor. 
and can automatically alert the driver with both visual and audible warnings if it detects signs of drowsiness on long trips. With enhanced sensitivity, the system can also detect help detect drivers who begin their trip drowsy and offer more useful information to drivers along their journey via a dashboard display. I think that's really interesting, and I notice that that's starting to catch on. Like I said, be aware of that. When you start seeing that other manufacturers talking about how they do this, Mercedes started this a long time ago. There's standard uh, LED daytime running lamps. There's LED headlamps and tail lamps. We know that. That's standard. Uh, oh, crosswind assist. This is interesting. Interpreting information. So crosswind assist helps detect the effects of strong side winds on the vehicle's handling stability at highway speeds, whether caused by lateral gusts. The system can help keep the car on course via strategic braking of the wheels on one side of the vehicle. Hmm. Interesting. All right. That's pretty cool. That's standard. Then there's the rear view camera. That's standard. Pre-safe. That's where the car kind of anticipating a collision and kind of gets things sort of ready. There's pre-safe sound. Kind of does the same thing, but with the ears. There's a nine-way airbag protection. So advanced system of seven airbags. Uh, nine-way occupant protection. Then we have an adaptive braking technology, and this does a lot. This is worth reading. Adaptive braking technology integrates a suite of advances. If you lift off the accelerator quickly, right, like too quick, then this thing sets the pads closer to the disc for more immediate response. It's, it's assuming that something's getting ready to happen. So it wants you to be able to respond faster. In the rain, automatic brake drying periodically applies the brakes just enough to weep, sweep water buildup off the disc. During uphill starts, hill start assist helps prevent unwanted rollback, and a hole feature can make long red lights or stop traffic a little bit easier so you can rest your foot. That's cool. There's an anti-lock braking system. I'm not going to read that. Anti-lock brakes have been around forever. Uh, there's a brake assist. There's electronic stability program. We kind of already talked about that a little bit. There's standard aluminum high-strength steel body structure. There's, oh, here we go. There's an advanced tire pressure monitoring system that will actually tell you what the tire pressure is at each corner. It's been my, one of my biggest pet peeves is these manufacturers love to tell you how they have tire pressure monitoring. But what they don't tell you is that it doesn't tell you which tire is low. It just puts up a little icon in the, on the dashboard that lets you know that a tire is low. But you're going to have to go out and find out which one. You'll have to go and figure it out. I like it where it tells you the, 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 the PSI of each wheel. That makes sense. Uh, standard safety equipment, smart key with keyless start. That's cool. So basically what that means is when you approach the car, you don't even have to have your key. You, when you put your hand on the handle, it's going to already unlock because the key is in proximity. And then if you put your foot on the brake and press start, as long as the car is in park, uh, the engine is going to start. So that's cool. Then you've got standard uh, anti-theft alarm system with a remote panic feature and standard rain sensing windshield wipers. And here's some optional equipment. Let's talk about this optional equipment real fast. And we're just going to run through them. So there's active distance assist Distronic. There is active steering assist. There is LED intelligent lighting with the curves. There is adaptive high beam assist. There is evasive steering assist. There is active blind spot assist. Active lane keeping assist. These are all optional safety features. Active lane change assist, active brake assist with cross traffic function. Mercedes throws the tech down hardcore now, and Mercedes leads the edge on it. So it's like, yeah, they're making it optional equipment, but they're so good at it, it's probably worth throwing in the money to go ahead and bundle this. So when we get to our building price, I'll be taking a real serious look at all these optional, super awesome tech features. So uh, what's next? Optional here, congestion emergency braking and then what do we have here active emergency stop assist blind spot assist active speed limit assist extended restart and stop and go traffic <laughs> active parking assist this is all optional safety features surround view system an advanced one rear cross traffic alert now this is an optional feature but it also upsets me because this car is $60,000 base price. 
And I, I build and price cars that are under $25,000, and they'll give you rear cross-traffic alert standard. Okay? Now, that's the whole thing. A lot of these features, I'm going through them. I'm just not stopping at everything. A lot There's a lot of stuff that some of the other manufacturers are giving you at a lot lower price, and that's the whole thing. They're nickel and diming us. They're going to nickel and dime us to make us get these features that, well, they're they're available on lesser cars, right? I'm meaning lower price cars. I'm not going to say they're lesser. They're just lower price. Then there's the pre-safe impulse side. This is also an optional feature. And then what else? And then there's the pre-safe plus. Then there's the rear seat side impact airbags. There's rear seat seat belts. And yeah, that takes care of all that. We're back to the beginning. Let's move on to the next. Okay, next up is luxury key features. So let's talk about luxury key features. Let's find out what's standard. We can see there's some standard features here. That list isn't too long. But then, then there's this long, long list of optional features. So let's take a look at the standard features. We've got power front seats with memory. We've got dual zone automatic climate control. Then we have three years of Mercedes Me Connect services. Mercedes Me Connect assist services. Remote start via Mercedes Me Connect mobile app. This is all standard stuff. And then a 64 color LED ambient lighting. Uh, 40, 20, 40 split folding rear seats. This is standard equipment. Uh, double side, uh, double sun visors. I like that. That's nice. Power folding side mirrors. Keyless start. Illuminated entry system. We have a home link garage door opener. And the brake hold feature, which we kind of already learned about a little bit. I was talking about that just a few minutes ago. For our optional equipment. We have an active multi-contour front seats with massage, the three-zone automatic climate control. So that means that standard is dual zone. That's you and the front passenger. Three-zone is you, front passenger, and the people in the back. Now they can all individually control their temperature. Uh, there's the air balance cabin air purification system. Uh, the air balance fragrance system where this will emit a nice, surely there's lots of different fragrances that it'll spritz and mist into the car without probably staining the car you know because sometimes you can buy some of that stuff that you can spray in the car but it'll leave stains on like your leather or the vinyl or whatever this stuff surely doesn't do any of that i'm sure because it's made by mercedes um that's optional and then these heated front seats optional that's part of the premium package it says did you see that down here it says it's available in the premium package heated and ventilated front seats is an option Rapid heating front seats is an option. I like that one. Heated front armrests. It's telling you everywhere that it's going to be heated. So you got heat here and down on the door panel. Right, All the places where you touch is now warm. This is available in the warmth and comfort package. I like that a lot. Then you've got the illuminated front door sills. I like that kind of stuff. You got a heated steering wheel. These are all optional features. Power rear window sunshade. And acoustic comfort package. This is optional. A household vault, 115. They, they can't just throw that in there. And then leather upholstery is also an option as well. What else do we have here? Napa leather upholstery is an option. Designo exclusive Napa leather is also an option. It's like, how expensive do you want to make this thing? It's already 60 grand. Do we want to add another $30,000 to it? I don't think so. Uh, but you can get the black. Dynamica headliner. That's an option. And in a different color as well. And then the keyless go system. I thought we had keyless go. I thought that said standard feature just in the last thing we looked at. But we'll check it out. It's in the premium package. Keyless go. And then soft closed doors is an option. The electronic trunk closer is an option. And then hands-free access where you can pop the trunk just by kicking your foot up under a certain spot under the rear bumper. All right, so uh, that takes us back to the beginning, so let's move on. Last but not least, under key features, we have multimedia. So we can see all the standard features in multimedia, and there's quite a bit. And then there's a list of, well, not so long, optional features. So let's start with the standard features for multimedia, and then we'll feed into the, um, the optional uh, features. 
standard 12.3 inch high resolution central display analog gauges with high resolution multifunction display it's all standard equipment command system with touchpad controller three spoke steering wheel with touch control buttons right it's a multifunction command navigation no charge online navigation map updates for three years front base system a leap forward in audio quality front base takes advantage of e-class body shell by utilizing the rigid front frame members as resonance chambers for under dash subwoofer okay so they're just maximizing that so there's a front base system and that's standard on this car apple carplay is standard android auto is standard voice control is standard hands-free bluetooth interface is standard bluetooth audio streaming is standard Dual USB ports, standard. HD radio, standard. Three years of live traffic service provided by TomTom, Tom, that's standard, when you buy the car new anyway. And an SD card reader. All in-SD memory card reader is also included, so you can play your digital music files. That is standard. For optional features, multimedia features, you've got that 12.3-inch instrument, digital instrument cluster. So instead of having analog gauges here, you can have dual 12.3 inches because you already have your other, you navigate your old infotainment system over here is already a 12.3 inch digital. And then you could upgrade this to the 12.3 inch digital. All right, that's optional. Route based speed adaption. Head up display, which I love. That's an option. The Burmester surround sound system, right? This is a, the upgraded surround sound. Uh, and then there's a, another version. So there's two levels. Now there's a 3D version of that, Burmester Surround Sound. There's a tune-in radio, whatever that is, including the available in-car Wi-Fi of Mercedes Me Connect. Tune-in radio lets you stream live programming from 70,000 live radio stations around the globe in your car. All right, that's what that is. That gives you available in Mercedes Me in-car Wi-Fi, and they give you a one-month, one-gigabyte trial. <laughs> so like a heartbeat of a second. Uh, also optional is in-car Wi-Fi, uh, wireless charging, right? So they put a wireless charging pad in there. If you want that, that's an option. And then Sirius XM radio with six-month all-access trial. Look how beautiful this thing displays in the instrument cluster. Just amazing. Love it. And then they do pre-wiring, uh, which is optional, pre-wiring <laughs> wiring for rear seat entertainment and comfort adapter. All right, so that's all our optional multimedia stuff. Let's move on. All right, let's talk packages. But before we talk packages, we're going to skip a few packages. We're going to skip a few packages. We're going to skip the package that talks about the Mercedes-Benz Star Service if you want two-year 20000 or three-year 30000 or four-year 40000 Why? Because on the channel, we don't get into that. We talk about building price. We talk about features and options. We don't talk about all that stuff that you do after you buy the car like taking it in, you know, all your servicing and all that kind of stuff. We don't deal with any of that. So we're going to skip over those. That said, there's a lot of packages to look at. Let's start with uh, the luxury styling, right? What does that do? That gives us, that's a $500 package. It gives us comfort suspension, a luxury body styling, 18-inch wheels, and that top stitch dash, which we already saw. The AMG package for $500 gives us a sport brake system and 18-inch AMG wheels. The AMG line package, right, this one is just a little bit different than the one we just looked at because they give us like some gloss black exterior accents. We were looking at some other key features. And they were talking about key accents and gloss black on the mirrors and all of that. We already looked at that, so we know what that looks like. So they still give us the sport brakes. Now they still give us those 18-inch AMG wheels, but now they have black accents in them. And then you get some more black accents on the exterior of the car, like around the window. Instead of there being chrome, it's black, shiny black, right? Stuff like that. You've got an exterior lighting package. So this gives us LED intelligent uh, light system headlamps and then adaptive high beam assist. I like this package here, the warmth and comfort package. Rapid heating feature for front seats. Heated front armrest. Heated steering wheel. Like all of that. Okay, then we got this premium package for about $3,100.50. Comes with that Sirius XM radio with a six-month trial. You get the Burmester surround sound system, not the 3D version, but the other one. You got the hands-free access. That's where you could kick your foot under the, the back bumper to pop the trunk. You got the heated front seats, 
electronic trunk closer. You got keyless go, right? Inductive wireless charging. So you got the wireless charging pad and then blind spot assist. Then there's the air fragrance system, right? For $350. Then we have the driver assistance package here for $2,250. And they basically throw in a ton of their active uh, super uber tech. I'm sorry, safety tech. So this is a package that eh, I wish they would bundle some of this stuff in, but they got to hold something back. They're holding back a whole bunch. This driver assistance package looks pretty, uh, pretty uh, enticing to me. We're gonna we're gonna take a close look at that when we get to the building price. There's a parking assistance package, active parking assist, surround view camera, rear cross traffic alert, and then there's that rear safety package, rear seat side impact airbags. Rear seat belt bags, right? For your rear seat occupants, if you want to take care of them, that's 650 The rest of these, like I said, we're not going to look at that. The Mercedes Me Concierge, this is a one-year trial. It's included when you buy the car new. Uh, Mercedes Connect Services, three years included. And then that Mercedes Wi-Fi deal, you get a one-month trial when you buy the car new. We kind of already talked about that a little bit. All right, so... The only other thing left before the building price is to go over warranties and service. So let's just look at that real fast, see what they have to say about that. Okay, so they're talking about you can do some prepaid maintenance. And like I said, we don't get into that, but it's it's an option. Uh, and then there's Mercedes-Benz warranties. they got a standard warranty that's a 48-month, 50,000 mile. Then they even have a limited warranty that's a 24-month unlimited mileage option for CPO vehicles. And then they talk about their service and repair. They've got express service, certified collision centers, this, that, and there, and the other thing. All right, so we've learned everything we need to know about that 2019 Mercedes-Benz E450 Formatic Luxury Sedan. Now all we need to do is do the build and price. So let's go do the build and price. I'll meet you over there. All right, let's go do that. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we got to do two things up front. We got to pick some wheels, and we need to pick some. We need to pick an exterior color. Now I already know. I already, I'm, I'm a sucker for the for the Designo Diamond White Metallic. A fifteen hundred dollar option. Unfortunately, the picture doesn't do it any justice. How nice it looks in real time out on the when you see it in person, and the sunlight is hitting that, and all that metallic flake is twinkling in the sunlight. It just looks gorgeous. So I want the diamond white metallic, and I know that I want I want nineteen inch AMG wheels, but I don't want the ones with the black accents. I want the nineteen inch wheels without the black accents. And if we do that, it says what? It says to add those wheels, we have to add what? The AMG line, which is fine because I want the sport look on the car anyway. And then what? To add that feature, we must also add one of the following, right? Lowered suspension with selective dampening. And this is the one that they will automatically be added because it's a no-cost option. Or you can add the air body control, which we probably won't add that air body control. So, yes, I want to do that. I knew that getting these AMG wheels was going to make us have to get the AMG package. So, what? It's two grand, basically, to do that. So, let's make the change. Now, we've got the AMG wheels and the body styling tightened up just a little bit to be more sport than luxury. Okay. So, there's some options down there. We did the AMG exterior line. Now, that was that uh, sport brake system and the AMG brakes. Now, if we wanted to do it with the night package, all we're going to do is add gloss black accents. And what does that mean? I think the mirror caps get black and just a few little accents. See how the window surround is chrome right now? That would be black. Stuff like that. I don't really want to do that, so we're going to skip over that. The exterior lighting package is the LED intelligent lighting system and adaptive high beam assist. Now, I kind of like that. As long as it doesn't change a package, which it didn't, we're going to go with that. All right, what's down further? What's down further is a bevy of other things. We've got what? The panoramic roof? Nah. Uh, the rear spoiler? I like the rear spoiler. I want a rear spoiler. The lower suspension? We have that. Accessory styling package? I don't know what that is, and they don't really tell us. So, Or do they? The accessory styling package includes a roof spoiler that attaches at the top of the rear window. Oh, this roof spoiler right here. Plus a, a rear lip spoiler. That's right here. Uh, yeah, I want both of those, actually. So I'm going to say no to that one and give me the accessory styling package. Do we want the LED logo protector? So when you open, I was at the Portland Auto Show, and on the Audis, when you open the door, they had the little Audi rings that would show up on the ground. So I thought that was cool. So, yes, I want the 
LED logo projectors for $275. And I think I'm happy with everything there. I saw some accessories down here. Do we want any of those? Nope. We don't want any of those accessories. We don't need any of that stuff. All right. Let's move on. All right. So here we are looking around the exterior. I'm sorry, the interior. <laughs> the interior of the 2019 Mercedes-Benz E450 4Matic sedan. All right. We've got lots of choices. Lots of choices for upholstery and trim. Now, this is where it's going to start getting expensive because I always like this whole... You know, I like the whole diamond stitching. And if we can see that right now, if I want to get those seats, it's a $5,000 option for those seats. But you know what? I don't even care because you only live once. And I've got all the money in the world, so what do I care? I'm going to get this one. I'm going to select that. So to do that, what do I need to do? So to get this Designo Black Titanium Gray Pearl Exclusive Napa Leather that's $4,900, I need to also add a Power Rear Window Shade for $440. I'll make that op I'll make that change. And now we have the now we have the diamond quilt uh, leather seats and the best ones, mind you. The best ones. Now, I can scroll down here a little bit and we can say what uh, veneer do we want? I want that burl the I think I want the burl walnut. I always like the burl walnut. It's rich it's the it's it's the wood color that I remember from classic Mercedes and BMW. So I want the burl walnut wood, and it just so happens that it's a no cost option. So that works out. We're sitting at just under seventy thousand dollars. Oh, there's that warmth and comfort package. I want that. Oh wow, really? They're gonna nickel and dime me like that? Okay. So to get the warmth and comfort package, now I got to spend another thirty one hundred dollars to get the premium package, right? Well, at the end of the day. At the end of the day, I want the blind spot assist I like, the keyless go, the wireless charging. It's got all this, the Burmester. I'm into all of the stuff. I wasn't planning on that. I wanted to make that selection. That kind of popped up in my face. But I, I'm, I'll, I'm ready for the hit. Let's do the hit. Okay. So we've got that. And what about some of these other options down here? We've got the rapid heating feature. I want the illuminated front door sills. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do I want the wood leather steering wheel? Nah, I can do without that. Uh, the cabin atomizer fragrances. Nah, we're not going to worry about that. Let's move on. Let's do that. Okay, now we're at entertainment and convenience. We got already pulled into the premium package. All right. We now what is there? I want that three zone automatic climate control. I want people in the back to be able to control their heated their seating. Plus, it just looks better. It's a cleaner look in the back when it looks like there's all tech in the back seat too. Looks like your car is nicer. I like that. So we're going to do that. And then let's see. Oh, I want the heads-up display. Yes. I want the soft-closed doors. I want the 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster. That is $850. I want... Uh, I don't necessarily need heated and ventilated seats. Active multi-contour seats with massage. I don't need that. I think I'm happy with all of those. Do we need a power outlet? Let's throw a power outlet in. Did they just say it's 115 volts? Let's make it a dollar a volt. Is that the way that works? It's a buck a volt. Uh, and then standard features, we already know that. These accessories, we don't need any of that stuff, do we? Although that's kind of cool. This USB power charger is kind of cool. I want to get that, actually. I want to get that. And, oh, here's a media interface for your, for your, for your Apple CarPlay. I like that. I'm just buying into the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm buying into the whole thing. All right, so we got all that. Let's move on. Okay, now we're at performance and safety. What do we got here? The driver assistance package. Now, what was this? Oh, yeah, that was all of that. Um, that was all that tech I wanted. Now, to do that, what do we need to do? Aha, 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 aha. You know what? I don't think I want to. Re I don't think. You know what? I don't think we're going to get the driver assistance package. I don't want to remove those ones. I liked that stuff. So let's get the parking assist package. And let's get the rear safety package for my rear seat occupants because I care about them. Let's get the wheel locks because that's cheap security on your wheels. And yeah, that's it. Okay, let's move to service and care, although I know we're going to skip right on over it. But let's move up to that really fast just so you can see the page anyway. So service and care, this is all that stuff I tell you I skip over. Right, this is all their little concierge. There's this, that, and the other thing. 
I'll let you take a look at it so you can see it all, right? But we're going to skip on over that and just go right to summary. All right, so we're at the summary. This car started out at $60,000, and we basically added $20,000 in options. It's at $80,000, and at the end of the day, that's about the going rate of most uh, high-end, mid-level sedans, okay? $80,000, $75,000, that's, that's right in that sweet spot there. So here's the whole breakdown. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and print this off. I'm going to go ahead and print off this build, all right? I'm going to print this off, and you can download this build in the description below. So if you've made it to the end, you made it this far, you're awesome, you rock, thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Other than that, you have a wonderful, wonderful day.